and the battery died. We're up to 1100 it counts per minute. 1106. This is the same piece of, uh, same piece of uranium glass, as you can see. It's actually quite beautiful. All it is is a candle holder. But I believe there is a chunk of uranium in there. That's why it glows this beautiful color. Because if you notice, it turns everything green around it. I mean, look at Everything is green all around it. counts per minute just by moving it watch I move it away from that spot all the way there now 9996 you can see it's going down oh now it's going back up 20 I don't think I'm anywhere near that black piece though see there's that black piece right there see it it's kind of dead nuts, almost in the center. And where that radiation symbol is right there, that's the center of where the uh, tube is. On the other side is a pancake inspector. So, yeah, this thing's brand new. It, it's picking it up from here. I'm at. I'm like very far away from it. So this stuff is extremely reactive. Let's watch her climb. There she goes. I think I may actually hook her up to the uh, computer so you guys can see it on the computer. If I can find the software, hold on one second. Mmm, look at that, 1168! Damn! Wow! Let's see what this little guy comes up with. This is just a Geiger Muller tube. It's not a pancake probe. She's clicking away as well. 34. 36, 37, 30, 40, 41, 43, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, no, not 55 yet, 56, 57, 60, 63, 65, 67, 72, 80, 
Must have been some dead time. 91. The alarm's gonna go off. It's going off. Sorry guys, but that's gonna have to go off for a few minutes. At least until I find the, uh... This is reading at about uh, 160. She's reading about one set, 160. just being in proximity to it. I mean, it's just, it's not even on it. This one's bouncing, oops, where is it? This one's bouncing between, uh, that's why. This one's bouncing between 1024 and 966. I'm going to take her away, put her down for a minute. I'm going to move this one away as well, so she'll stop alarming. Now we'll move in with the Eberline. This is the Eberline E140. Let's see what she reads. Alright, she's hard over already. So let me put it on times... Let me put it on times 10. I'm sorry I can't use the flash, guys. 
I could try using the flash. Let me see what it says. Uh, let me use the flash. Well, either way, I'm going to put this on uh, over here. There's a setting. It's times 1, times 10, times 100, times, oh, that's battery, I think, and then off. Yeah. There's times 100. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Yeah, battery times 100, times 10, and then times 1. So, we're going to put it on times 10 and see what she reads after that. Uh, this is in micro-rads and in counts per second. So, she's reading about the same as the uh, She's reading about the same amount as the other meter, the newer meter. About a thousand. I'm sure it'll jump occasionally to a thousand and ten. Actually, wait a minute, that's times ten. So, yeah, so a hundred times ten would be. Wow, that's a little more than I thought. Oops, shit. Tipped over. She's still reading, though. This is also a pancake probe, but this is a more professional one. It's the HP 260. Where's that black spot? It must have moved. There it is. I'll just know it's right there in front of the 